Greetings and welcome to the look at Subnautica, early access version from December 14th. Subnautica is an underwater survival game from the Unknown Worlds guys, uh, who's actually a developer behind the Natural Selection 2. If you haven't tried the game, you should, because it's absolutely fantastic and it's an actually a multiplayer team-based FPS game. Um, this one is, as I said, underwater survival game. And the underwater part makes it very interesting. Um, so there is unfortunately not too much options right now to show off, just language which actually does not clicks. It, this seems to be a Unity game because it has this typical Unity launcher before the game launch where you can rebind the keys and change the resolution and change the graphic preset. But you know, that's about it in terms of customization. I have to know that this is a very, very earlier version of the game and it does not have too much things to show off, but there's still enough, you know, for a 15-20 minutes video maybe, so let's jump in and see how exactly it works. So you have two modes now, freedom with no time constraints or normal, which is sort of survival mode. Uh, not sure about time constraints, haven't noticed them in normal, but you do have constraints like, you know, food and drink, you have to drink and eat something and you have to actually uh, keep the ox oxygen levels high. Haven't tried the freedom mode yet, but yeah, we can just start with that and see how it goes. I think that should be sufficient to show you pretty much everything this game has to offer. We'll skip the intro. So let's see, the HUD is initializing now. Yeah, there we go, my oxygen. So I have a depth matter to know how exactly deep down you are to be able to go up to get some oxygen, health, and then the food and water in the left corner. So this is my... Uh, capsule that is, I don't know, escape pod, I guess. Yeah, escape pod, exactly. So I've fallen down from that large thing over there. And as you can see, we're in the middle of the ocean and basically have nothing. So how do we survive? Well, we have this fabricator here, which can create different things like food, resources, equipment, and tools. Um, there are some tools that you can see here are not implemented yet. And this menu is frankly dreadful because <laughs> I will show you it in a moment. Uh, if you want to create a several resources, it is a huge pain in ass. All right, so there we go. This is our underwater world and we can gather materials. As you might imagine, this is mostly what you're going to be doing since this is a survival game. So we can break this limestone and pick up emery. No, come here. Um, we can dig some sand actually to make some fins because then we will be swimming quite much faster. Let's get some more sand and now the oxygen is depleting so we have to go up. All right. So uh, yeah, we can open our inventory to have a look at what we're carrying with us. So this is basically the limit of what you can carry with you. And as you can see, different materials have different sizes. This is this submarine button that I assume is submarine inventory, but I am not actually sure if it's implemented yet. You can build one small submarine. Uh, and we will try that later because there is a cheat command that allows you to quickly do that so that I don't have to spend like two hours gathering resources. But okay, let's start with doing fins. So silicon. As you can see, I have nine sand so I can build three silicon. You know, the problem is that I have to do this every time. I mean, I kind of get it. Yeah, fabricator need to do this every time, but it would be way easier to just have some way to batch produce stuff. So now we can actually create fins. Um, how it works is quite simple. So basically now I have fins here in inventory and I can carry only one of them and they increase swimming speed. That's about it. So we can do knife. Okay, we already have metal and emery, so let's create knife. Uh, knife can be useful to fight off the attackers underground and, uh, or underwater, sorry, and then um, to cut some stuff. Okay, we need some food now and maybe we can start gathering a sea glide. We need battery and metal. Battery, zinc and carbon. Okay, let's try to go and find some zinc and carbon. So I think zinc should be in limestone. Yep, perfect. Carbon, um, let's catch some fish maybe. I yeah, come here. Ah, quartz. Quartz is good, it's pretty rare actually. I think we can create carbon from those mushrooms, mushrooms for some reason. Uh, let's just grab them all. So as you can see, the oxygen depletes actually quite fast unless you have a oxygen tank. 
additional one. We'll create that in a moment. Okay, let's see. We can create some carbon. And I think now we should be able to actually create the battery. Perfect. So now let's have a look at the equip. No, it was tools, right? So we need metal. Let's go find some metal. Uh, so the metal is, I think, the basically pieces that are fallen off from the this huge ship over there. So usually if you go towards the ship from the direction of your escape pod, you should find some of them, uh, like some of the metal pieces uh, lying around. See, yeah, I know I can cut the wine. Um, so yeah, it's one of the ways of using the... Okay, we need to go up. One of the ways of using the knife, uh, let me see. Oh, there's some angry monster uh, and there's some metal. So those guys will attack you. They are not too dangerous, but they can be a pain in the ass. Let's try to kill them. There are some funky bugs in the game. And last time, for example, I killed one of those. He was flying out of the sea and into the... And uh, he's dead, I think. Yep, he is. And we have some metal here, uh, but I cannot pick it up for some reason. Yeah, there's bugs like this as well when you... Can definitely see that something is there but you can't really pick it up for some reason oh god oxygen come on there we go all right um there was a metal plate somewhere around here did i pick it up uh no i didn't where the hell is it oh there's another one nope that was enough for one encounter let's try to look here maybe i also need some salt for some reason there is salt lying on the bottom of the sea um, I guess it maybe is that what the hell was that sound? Um, I guess it was done for you know purposes of like to let you just gather it. Mm, oh god, that is not very good. There we go. So we need to find some salt now. Let's see. Um, so it should be like small white cubes around. Uh, no, not here at least. Um, there's a lot of mushrooms here, so we can actually craft a lot of carbon. Last time I did not spawn with a lot of mushrooms around, so I had to swim quite a lot to find them. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What is this? Okay, this is some riff. Okay, let's see. Do we have salt? Oh my god, I'm on 70% of food. I need to eat something quickly. So let's catch some more fish. Come here. Come here. No, where are you? Come back, come back, come back. Nope. God damn it. Yes, I got him. Okay, now we just need to find some salt and we can create some food or otherwise I'll just starve to death. Where's my capsule there? Okay, salt. Where are you? There should be a lot of it. Ah, there we go. So let's get salt. I mean, you probably already got the idea about the game and how exactly it works. And we have some more salt here. Um, so we can maybe get some food right now and then craft our glider and then i guess i can show you the submarine because everything else is not as interesting as those items here and you already got the idea about the okay food cooked peeper yes let's cook this you can actually release the fish not sure why you would need that again maybe there will be something okay i cannot craft it anymore because i didn't have so let's eat. You can eat the fish raw actually, but you will get uh, de de dehydrated because of that. Uh, let's eat that one and that one. So that, yeah, that's a bit better. And I think we now should be able to craft the sea glide. Nice. All right, so <clears throat> we can actually place it here and then put the fish. I just thrown it away. Come back here. Now where's my sea glide? No, you should be. What? I think I just... Can I drag it there? No. Um, I just thrown it away as well. There we go. Okay, now it works. So we can go and see and now you can see that I have a sea glide and I can swim around pretty quickly actually. So let's, let's do something more interesting. So what we can do? We can create a constructor and for that we need uh, metal. So you can use commands in console to get what whatever uh, requirements you need. No wait, battery, get battery, and then we need glass. Uh, whoops, glass two. Now we can make a constructor. So this thing can be deployed uh, on water. 
So let's see, we can go here. We can drop, uh, drop the constructor here. We'll deploy like this. It's not always actually easy to get on top of it. Sometimes it just tumbles, like fumbles below you, which is not nice. And constructor, at the moment, it allows you to create two vehicles. Uh, you cannot actually create Cyclops because it has this unobtainium element that is ridiculously named and obviously you cannot get it even through the console, so it's non-existent. But you can create this C moth thing and we shall do that. So let's get item metal 3. We shall get item battery. And item glass. And we shall get item copper. I mean, most of those are actually quite easy to scavenge. The copper is the trickiest one because it's usually quite far away from your spawn. And there we go. There's our submarine. Now it will fall down. A bit too far away from the constructor, I think. But still, you know. Okay, I think we also need additional um, tank of the oxygen. So let's say item metal four. I mean, let's get two, why not? So those are as well, you know, they work in the same way that uh, fins do. So they occupy the space in here and increase your oxygen by 30 seconds. And same goes for fins, but they just make you swim faster. And now we can actually jump into the sea moth and swim around. So we can show you some cool deep ocean. Uh, as you can see, it has energy and health. Health would be reduced by bumping into things, obviously, but as well by uh, sea monsters that decide to attack you. And this game has some very nice, de nicely designed landscapes. And there's some, oh, there's someone trying to attack me, probably. Okay, let's try to go deep. So there is like cave systems and caverns and rifts and whatever you can imagine here. And there's, you can go pretty deep, actually. So let's see. Sometimes there is very strange areas that tend to kill you in one shot if you go in there. And there's some crazy sea kings. Those guys can actually eat you right away if you try to go close to them. So I don't want to try that. Uh, let's swim around a bit more and try to see what exactly we have here. So I guess... Um, that's a good question. No, I cannot actually do that. So I cannot open my inventory. I thought maybe that's where I can do the uh, whole um, submarine thing. There's more guys. Oh god, there's a big guy. Um, those guys are angry as well. Nope. <laughs> nope, I'm just gonna swim away from you. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay, let's... What the hell is... What the hell is this thing? I never saw that. That looks awesome. Holy crap. So this game definitely does have some very impressive... Uh, monsters and and you know underground life on underwater life sorry and some very interesting landscapes and ow there's probably even more that I haven't explored I mean I haven't been I, I played about two hours I guess and I got to the point where I assembled this submarine myself without using the cheat commands can we go even deeper maybe ow Okay, I don't want to go close to that. Oh god, what the hell is this? Oh, look at these nicely looking caverns. And a big angry fish there. Nope. Uh, can I go inside here, maybe? This, I mean, so I basically I can... Oh god, he's trying to eat me. Nope. Oh my god. Um, I can get out of my submarine right now and just try to go... God damn it, come on. Nope. I think he's gonna eat me now. Maybe. No. Or did he lift? Yep, he left. <laughs> okay, that worked. Um, so, sometimes I do miss, like, you don't have the six degrees of freedom movement in this hub. You can just move, like, horizontally, vertically, and that's it. And it turns quite randomly, I would say. Um, or rather, it leans when you turn left or right, and that's not, not exactly always good. It would be nice to have a full six degree of freedom controls here. I'm on a hundred meter depth and there are some crazy animals here. All right. But yeah, I mean, that's essentially it. You know, the game is pretty much bare bones right now and there's not too much to do here yet, but it definitely sees a potential. And if we look at the uh, previous work of the guys from Unknown Worlds, you would see that the 
Um, natural selection 2 is still updated up to this date and gets like free expansions and all the crazy stuff and they are really good at what they are doing. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't even know if there's anything to complain about in the natural selection game because I played literally like 10, I, I, I think, I think about 100 of hours already. It's very challenging, but it's very interesting. So this is definitely a game worth sinking your time in. And I hope they will put enough of the the same passion into this game because the, the whole idea of surviving underwater is frankly fantastic. I mean, we had zombies, we had even the winter survival in the long dark, and now we have underwater survival, which is pretty awesome. So I, I really, Hope this game will become pretty good. I mean, obviously there are flaws like you know the some graphical issues right now. As you can see, some assets are not exactly high quality. There's some physics issues. This is actually the most issues I encountered was related to the physics. Um, so this there was pretty um, some pretty funky stuff like you know fish that flies away into the sky away from you. Not sure why that happens, but pretty oh, oh god, what the hell is that? Let's kill that thing. Oh. Did he? No. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what is this thing? Did... Do they explode? I, f I just found exploding fish. That was intense. Okay. So let's get some salt. We need some salt and... To... Oh no! Go away from me! Oh god! And I'm dead. So once you die you just uh, respawn here and you lose some stuff. Um, do I still have make no I don't I lose all my salt um, okay um, so yeah again you know on the downsides this editing menu is not or crafting menu is not exactly the best one especially when you need batch crafting some issues with the UI uh, for example the O2 meter tends to disappear sometimes I'm not sure with um, how it's actually happens I wasn't able to reproduce it but just sometimes when I launch the game it's not there it's just the O2 um, sign is there and that's it and, and all I can do to figure out the current oxygen levels is to actually listen to the warnings that there are like uh, you know half o half on oxygen and stuff like this okay and obviously yeah it would be would be very interesting to see more vehicles and I guess more meaningful progression because right now it's just like okay let's gather some stuff and build better equipment which is normally okay but since we're in the ocean it would be cool to see a progression downwards you know to say go deeper down and then build your base there and then to gather more equipment and go even deeper than this and so on and so on until you know maybe make it procedurally gen i mean i think it's already procedurally generated so basically endless progression deep down to see who can get further away. That would be awesome with, you know, base construction and stuff like this. Um, but yeah, it looks, it definitely looks very promising and I'm looking forward to the um, upcoming updates and to, you know, seeing what exactly they will come up with. Okay, but I guess let's wrap it up here. So this is uh, Subnautical. It is available on Steam Early Access for $20 or your original equivalent, but at the moment it actually discounted and it is $16 or your original equivalent. If you are into survival genre, then I would say you should pick it up because it's pretty good. If you are not, I would say wait until the game actually has more content because at the moment it's pretty much bare bones and unless you want to you know, dig into all of this and um, help the developers with your survival experience and tell them what you actually want to see there. Uh, then there is not that much to do actually here, so it's mostly, I guess, would be a community-driven game for the moment. But yeah, it's pretty promising, pretty damn promising, especially from a developer like Unknown Worlds. It's pretty damn promising. All right, thank you for watching, and as always, see you during the next update. Bye!